$26,000 I was approved for. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you're able to do the same. All right. So if you're looking for some personal funding, a good option would be someone like Best Egg. Uh, they, they lend out money. Uh, they do personal loans, obviously. Uh, rated the number one personal loans by... Uh, Rated number one personal loan by Best Company. They have excellent ratings. I've actually used them. I do have a personal loan with them. Um, now, a couple of things to keep in mind. A personal loan is different than a credit line. A credit line, it's revolving. A personal loan is an installment loan, meaning there is an end date. So let's say let's say they give you twenty thousand dollars. You pick terms: twenty four months, thirty six months, forty eight months, sixty months, whatever it is. There is an end date, right? It's a fixed payment for the life of the loan, right? However long that payment is. So let's say it's twenty thousand. Your payment is four hundred dollars a month. Um, you're gonna be paying that four hundred dollars a month uh, to the life of the loan, no matter how, how. Like it's not gonna change. With, with a line of credit, it'll change based on the balance, and it's not revolving. So once you pay off the personal loan, you have to reapply to get the funds again. Um, so there's pros and cons to each, right? The con is, number one, it's an installment loan. Number two, you start to make the minimum payment the following month. With a uh, revolver line of credit, um, you make that payment based on the balance um, that you have. So it's not like immediate. You, and you only get, you're only going to make that minimum payment based on uh, if you use that balance. As opposed to a personal loan, when you get that balance, I mean, when you get that those funds in the bank account, you have to make a payment the following month and the, the fixed payment starts to kick in right away. So that's some of the cons and pros. All right. So some of the some of the reasons you should be you could be using the personal loan for would be like debt consolidation, credit card refinancing, home improvement, uh, movie loans. Now, this is important. A little a little uh, gem here for higher. So the, the data points for me, I had a 760. They pulled TransUnion. Um, now, a thing you need to keep in mind, and you could, so this is a soft pool, so that's great, right? It's no impact to your credit score if you are not approved. So they'll do a soft pool on your credit, see where you're at. They'll give you an idea of what you might qualify for and your interest rate. Now, keep in mind, that does not guarantee you the, the terms, right? It doesn't guarantee the loan. So you just be mindful of that. It will be a hard pool if you proceed with the application. But one of the things you need to be mindful of is like what you want to pick this reason for, like a vacation loan. That doesn't sound enticing for a lender, right? Um, why would you borrow money to take a vacation, right? Something like debt consolidation or credit card refinancing is a good option because they might look at it like you're trying to consolidate some, le some debt um, and get it all in one monthly payment as opposed to five different credit cards. They're easier if you use that for you, for when you submit the application, your, your chances are a little bit higher because it's not as high risk as something like a vacation, you know, like a baby or an adoption. Those are more like personal reasons, um, you know, so it makes more sense to do something like that. But you do with that information what you will. I'm not saying pick that. I'm just saying it just make put yourself in the lenders. Would you loan someone who's trying to consolidate debt or someone who's trying to create new debt because they're trying to take vacation? Does that make sense? Um, now the, now the minimum FICO score, minimum score, um, I was told was 600, 600. Um, now you might not get up to, you might not get a decent amount with that, with that, with a score like that, but the higher the score, the better the rate, right? The higher the score, the higher the amount as well. Um, direct payment, top rated personal loans, low fixed APR loans up to 50,000. Um, so obviously it depends on your, uh, your credit score and the plan depends on your income. So what you want to do is if you, if you are going to apply for them, uh, just make sure that if you're doing it for a funding play, uh, go ahead and do that. But you don't want to borrow money and not have a, like something for use. Like you don't want to borrow money just to have the money that you want to have because the payment comes in the following month. So you want to make sure that you have something lined up. It's not like a credit card where you, you start to make a payment once you start using it, but this is a good, this is a good option. Uh, it's a good funding play for the, on the personal side. Uh, guys, let me know in the comments if you apply for this loan. If you got a loan, what were your data points? What was the amount for? Also, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that bell notification. That way you can notify whenever I post a new video. Also, smash that like button. Smash that like button. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. That's my time. My name is Toby Rosario. Peace.